Bible Buffet. I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos and promised I'd do a video on it. This is another unlicensed game, much like uh, Big Nose. Yeah, I don't know. Like, How about 666, since this is a Christian game? <laughs> oh, man. I'm such an asshole. <laughs> There you go, 666. Six, six. Oh, man. This is a... a yeah, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Big Nose and, like, a lot of other um, unlicensed games, like Dizzy the Adventure and whatnot, were made by a company called Chi uh, Chimerica. And, um... Yeah, fuck shit. In a Christian game. Player One. <laughs> you start off in Veggie Land. It's very similar to Candyland. Angry video name, Angry video game nerd actually covered this briefly in his Christian games thing. Wisdom Tree is known for bad games, bad unlicensed Christian themed games, while Camerica was known for good ones. What do I get? Uh, see, I lose my turn, but it's only one player. So, I mean, I'm, I, it is two player, but I'm only playing with one person, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, this game is interesting because it's called Bible Buffet. It's made by Wisdom Tree, who are known to make these Christian-themed games, yet it doesn't appear to have a four. I always get a four. All right. And then you play a mini game, kind of like Mario Party, and it's kind of a, you know, you get cauliflower, and you shoot at, this is vegetables. You're going to shoot at vegetables. They look like artichokes. All right. And I'm, I'm shooting spoons at them. It, this is a cool game. And you can also lay down these oil drums that will eventually blow up. You can press select to use forks. And they fly further, but they're kind of erratic. And there's knives, which are the best weapon, so I use the knives. And the object in these is just to get to the end. It's kind of like a mixture of Zelda and a little bit of Lolo and Bomberman in there. Just pick up the cauliflower. Any food that's moving is evil. But if it's not moving, you got to pick it up. Everything's food in this. Yeah, I think it was the Panic Restaurant review. And, uh, yeah, you just get to, you know, veggie land, potato land, salad, fast food, bread, pizza. Once again, pizza should never be the enemy, but whatever. I'm going to get another four. Oh, a two. Okay, I'll still be in veggie land. But I land on this dot, and I get a free square so I can spin again. This is actually a pretty cool game to play, like, with the family, which is, like, what Christian games should be, not shit like Noah's Ark 3D. And look at that. Oh, that's assy. You never know what the happy face and the sad face is going to do, because it's kind of random. Like, sometimes you lose your turn, sometimes you move backwards, so that's kind of weird. So it's unusual, because this is a, supposedly a Christian-themed... Ah, oh, we come back at the beginning. Supposedly a Christian-themed game, but... Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with Christianity or the Bible or anything. I'm probably losing, because I put 666 and there we go, 6. There we go, let's move forward. Okay, what do we got? And you play an oh, oh, watch out. What am I being chased by? Like, there's, I know the tomatoes. I can't really tell what those other things are. There's, oh, carrots, they're carrots. Yeah, fuck you. And, I mean, it's just fun. It's it's hard to describe it. I mean, it, I never thought that I would be playing a Wisdom Tree game. The same people that made Noah's Ark 3D and Bible games and all that other crap. And and having fun with it. Sometimes you can pop up and things like that. There's a uh, pumpkin guy and some of these tomatoes will come to life. Now I call shenanigans in some of this because it's supposed to be vegetable land and I'm fighting fruit here. So that's kind of weak. Normally I'd pick up all the power-ups but I'm trying to show you as much of the game as possible. Player 1... Oh, hurry up. Four. I get so many fours in this. Alright, that brings me into Potato Land. Potato. You know, and this is, they're shooting mashed potatoes at you, and there's potato peelers blocking them. It's pretty creative, and the graphics are, you know, they do their job. They're not, you know, amazing or anything, but I'm going to fighting baked potatoes here. See, I like the knife. It travels far, it goes through things. Ooh, you can also push things, which kind of... That's kind of sucky, because you, you can actually block off the exit. But you can find out, like, I found seven bombs there. That was pretty cool. 
And the object is to just get to the end, you know? I mean, it's like Candyland, or the game of life. A key. All right. I don't know what the key does. You just go again. All right. Potato. I'm going to land on the sad face. No, no, three. Okay. What does that do? Free square. Spin again. Okay, I'll do that. Come on. One. So I land on the question mark. And it goes, all right. Now, it, gets, it gives you a quiz here. Now, um, the questions are actually in the manual, and it doesn't matter if you get shit right or wrong. I don't know why they would do that. What's wrong with having the questions on the screen? Maybe they were too long. And I can do a bonus square. Pick one. I don't know, I'll pick the heart. Hearts are usually good in a game. <laughs> Voice is surprisingly clear for a Nintendo game. Come on, you bitch. Four again. I'll still be in Potato Land. This is really weird themes. I got. Look at this. Look at where am I? Where am I? Oh, there, there I am. Just so you can pick up this ketchup, shooting ketchup at you. You gotta watch out. And it's just like potato chips coming out of nowhere. And ooh. Oh, you fuck. I got a heart and a half. left some hearts here. Oh, no, I can't. There we go. Watch out for the french fries. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck your mother. These are usually just two screens. Throwing mashed potatoes at me. At least he gave me gravy. Taters and gravy. some life. It's very easy to play. It's fun. Kind of reminiscent of certain Atari 2600 games. But it also reminds me a little bit of Zelda mixed with Bomberman. Oh, that's fucked. Too bad there's no S's or I can spell out ass. Oh, I got him wrong, but I was so sure. Let's do this shit. I'll be in Salad Land. Hopefully, and then we don't move backwards. Somebody's got to please tell me how to get videos longer than... I'm in Salad Land now. Videos longer than 10 minutes onto YouTube. Whoa! I want to get that... Get out of here, you fuck. Ooh. I mean, I get the buffet part, because it's like food, salad dressing. But the Bible part? I, I kind of don't get it. Get some lettuce. Oh, okay. Big money, big money, big money. Fuck your mother, come on. Four, of course it's a four. Now you get the secret thing, I'm in Breadland. Gotta love Breadland. Come on. I don't know why I had to do that, but okay. God. Fuck, fuck. Six. Oh, that's a big number. Can't be a dice, because dice are evil. Oh, pizza land? Oh, man. I don't like fighting pizza. Okay, you got, like, sauce ladles that you can push around. There's pizzas coming out of there. I'm just going to go up here. Pizzas that you... See, pizza should... That's what a pizza should be, a power-up. So the evil slices are coming after you, but you pick up the, the big pieces. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of against pizza being evil. I think pizza should always be awesome in every situation. Come on. I assume those questions that you get are probably Bible-related, and that's probably the Bible part of it. Which is good, because they kept it out of the actual gameplay. All right, here we go. There's pizza boxes opening, and pizza's coming out of them. This looks like, uh, I don't know what those things are, anchovies or something. I mean, these sections are actually really easy, but they're they're fun, you know, and it's fun to play. Is pineapple? That's another thing. Pineapple should never go on pizza. That's that's fucked. Kind of running out of time here, so I'm gonna just kind of uh. Come on! <laughs> I wanted to do one more. I'll move ahead ten. Yeah. I'd love to show you barbecue land, but uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. So I'm just gonna stop right here. So that's Bible buffet. <laughs>